guys welcome to part four out of four so the final part where i open two etbs uh starting with all our sets of sword and shield and going making our way up to this scarlet and violet sets um and today we're gonna do that paradox rift is uh is a candidate for today in the first part we opened darkness ablaze and shining fates in part two, we opened two ETBs from Chilling Rain, and in the previous part, part three, we opened two ETBs from Lost Origin. If you want to see those videos, guys, those openings, check it out. The links are in the description down below. But today, it is time for Paradox Rifts. Probably uh, my favorite out of all the sets that we opened. Uh, I don't know, Chilling Rain. I like Chilling Rain a lot as well. Uh, but I'd say Paradox Rifts to open is a lot more fun. Um, so let's crack into these ETBs and let's see what we can get out of these um, these have nine packs in them instead of eight with the sword and shield era uh, we saw with shining fates that it had ten packs but that was because it's a specialty set uh, they had different amount of packs compared to the main set ETBs in sword and shield that has changed though in the scarlet and violet era because uh, there is no difference in amount of packs with the specialty sets or the main sets, which is kind of weird. Because uh, in Sword and Shield, where you had the difference, it kind of makes sense that there are more packs in the specialty sets because they have they don't have booster boxes. Um, and with uh, Scarlet and Violet, they made it so every set has the regular ETBs with 9 and like the Pokemon Center ETBs with 11 whilst uh, with the specialty sets uh, I think yeah because with Pokemon Go and with um, Crown Zenith those were specialty sets and the regular ETBs had 10 but the Pokemon Center ETBs had 12 booster packs so why did it not why did they they not do that with the Scarlet and Violet sets I don't know I don't know um, but yeah let's dig into both ETBs um, it's probably I don't know I have I have most of the chase cards of Paradox Rift already I mean a lot of the top chases like let's say uh, I just don't have the top chase being the Roaring Moon uh, another card that I would like to have from this set is the Steelix illustration rare. That would be nice. Uh, which ones am I missing? I'm missing the. Uh, what is it? The 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 Magneton ancient version. What is it called? Uh, Sandy Shocks. Yeah, Sandy Shocks. I'm missing the SIR from that one. Uh, of course, we have a promo card here as well. We have the dividers. We're going to put these to the side once again. Yeah, the coins, the dice, all pretty irrelevant for me right now. We have the sleeves. Like, I'm not going to go over these guys. We're... I've opened these before, so it's nothing new. Let's see, we got two code cards though. These are unique, so I'm going to give it to you. We have the promo cards here. Screamtail and Iron Bundle. I forgot the name of the Iron Bundle. It's like the Deli Bird uh, variant. I forgot the name of that. But okay, that's that. We just got some energy cards here. I'm gonna put those to the side. And that's that. We just have the packs left to open. Okay, let's dig into these. What is the best pull going to be that we get today? Uh, I'm hoping for an SIR. A good illustration where it would be good as well. A gold card would be nice. Just missing the, which was, yeah, the uh, luxurious cape gold card. That's the one that I'm missing. Um, what else am I missing? I think just some illustration rares and uh, 
and SIRs. Let's see here what we'll get. Which ETB will be better? We got Nimble Reverse, Norman uh, Reverse, and a Iron Moth. Okay. But yeah, I do have some of the top chases like the Groudon IR, uh, the Altaria SIR, Iron Valiant SIR. I got the Iron Hands SIR. Uh, what else? Uh, what else is there? I don't remember. Oh, I got some trainer, uh, some trainer SIRs as well, like uh, the male professor one. Whatever. Uh, some of some girl trainers. We got Reverse Hollow Gold Bat, Reverse Hollow Vanillux, and we got Galissapod EX. That's the first half pull, I'd say. The regular EXs are the ones that I'm not really too fond of. <laughs> I'm not really excited for those. Okay. We got Reverse Hollow Loudred, Natu, and Ting Lu Hollow. Are we going to have a massive difference in pulls with both ETBs? Let's find out. Oh, the Parasol Lady is in there. I don't have that one. That's a beautiful card, I think. We got Reverse Hollow Swablu, Luxurious Cape. I need that one in a gold. And the uh, Iron Jugulus. Nothing crazy yet. Uh, wait, do I have... Which pack did I start on? Uh, four, five, six, seven, two, six, seven. Okay. <laughs> I thought I would not use a... a um, didn't, wouldn't have to use a coin. Because it's only nine packs, right? And still I'm not sure. <laughs> of course, it's because of the same... It's the same set. So it's... It's not as easy to separate. Oh, we got an illustration rare here. Get the Swablu illustration rare, not too bad. Fue Coco and a Chi Yu Hollow. That's pretty decent. Already have this one. The Swablu between the Wingle there, multiple. Of course, that's an illustration rare. The Groudon also is an illustration rare. But it's like 10 times or 20 times as valuable. <laughs> but the pull rate should be similar. We got Jirachi. Ooh, Mantike. Illustration rare here. I think that's the first time I pull this one. And the Zashin Hollow. Okay. Not too bad, not too bad. Pretty good start, I'd say. Ferro Seed, Pumpkaboo, and a Hollow Zashin once again. Zashin. There we go. Come on. Yeah, reverse a little more Peko, Apom, and Volcanion. Oh, I just. No, no. it's not. It's time yet. First, this one. First, this one. Look, I'm missing again. <laughs> oh, 
I'm pretty bad at this. But yeah. Yamask, Oricorio, and Groudon Hollow. Now it's your turn. First Hollow Tinkatuff, Horsey, and Zatu. Well, we're slowing down a little bit right now. We should get, I think, t two to three um, hits in each ETB, I think. Actually, three would be average, I think, if you compare it to a booster box. Reverse Holo Palkia, TM Evolution, and Kingdra. Well, the first ETB is definitely doing not as good. I mean, there's only one hit difference, but... I mean, I'd rather have one illustration rare than two or three regular EXs. All day. Reverse Holo Golbat, Nackley, more Peko. Oh. <laughs> Again, man. That's just me. That's just me. We got Gibble Reverse, Gimmigal, and Tapu Koko EX. In one of the previous openings, I, uh, I noticed that the Tapu Koko EX is actually like less valuable, less valuable than some of the uh, hollows in the set, <laughs> which uh, kind of surprised me. Come on, what do we got? Reverse holo Joltik, Tatsugiri, and Aegis Slash EX. So are these illustration rares going to be the best that we get? Come on. Apparently they are. Dottler, Garganical, and Porygon Z. Like, I think the Porygon Z was more valuable than, than the Tapu Koko EX. Nope, Wiglet, Semisage, and Groudon once again. We're not getting a lot of pulls in these ETBs right now. I'm used to I'm used to getting a little bit more, just a little bit more out of uh, uh, out of Paradox Rifts. Apparently not today. Can we get some last pack magic on these ETBs? No, apparently not. Wow, this first ETB was not too great. I hope we get something out of this, but. I mean, the funny thing is, um, this opening was probably still even the best out of the four when when it comes to value, but still nothing amazing. Reverse all the Tinkatuff, Wimpot, and Espatra. Wow. Okay, so that was actually it. Um, nothing too incredible uh, to pretty okay uh, illustration rares. Nothing too crazy, I think. 
uh but yeah that's gonna be it at least i can add the mantic i think to the collection guys i hope you enjoyed this series of four uh where we open the etbs uh, that's gonna be it guys thank you so much don't forget to subscribe like and share the video also don't forget to check out some of my other openings on the channel i really appreciate your support guys thank you so much and see you guys next time bye